Fiat Mama Wane na on a acting information minister, Katika, uh, Kojo upon and Kroman Twas, Womu ya, Kofi be signing off, Woman of Supreme Court, Nancy said they will. Kofi Twaso. All right. All right, Captain uh, Masumu Elha. Now, so they are kind of uh, yeah, acting information minister. Uh, Elha, uh, yeah, they know everybody. Uh, and call me, Mr. Baumis. I beg you not to. The country to your crown is your core presidency. I feel we are now. I say, I try to do my son. I just said, I do my own. But, um, my mean, you're not going to be a cause you at home. And I will call you up on my own. If you're saying, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, sure, dear cause. So, and it looks like only uh, around this, you follow your phone and any lawyer to you anymore. Uh, I take you more by surprise. Um, Nipa and Uncle Mohas and Combina, Kanya, Bissabis, or Monsembino, to say, and young Conco Banasa, and Tiama, never be an Uncle Moreno, or Monsa, and to me, and Omora, who I don't know much name, a common strategy, Hana. Minima, you could tell Omora, who Sans, a service, well, what was a mouth back quarter? I wonder what's a Okama Semcher Cotton. Okay, the evidence actor, section fourteen, section seventeen, or say, what would you ask a mouth back quarter? Wona Utumri et Resie. He who alleges must prove. Uchira was a movie. Now if he caught a shes, okay, wa a semino, ya do be jina court no. Se say ya can sem a man dum pen pen so bea. Se when you wan noa a semino baby a cono, a bootyao, udibem, nte o se you ano. Think a criminal case are and confess prosecution in a any case. Or any case we have, no, I catch record. I have formal announcement to court and say, My Lord, I arrest my case. And I say, I, uh, my close my case. And that is the case of the prosecution. Say, defense, no, I said, they are prosecution, I can't say, who the Hurada, some proper be anymore. Defense, no, to me, raise the offense of submission of no case. Say, My Lord, they are working there and I'm saying, what to do. And now, they might be in a fact, I can't know. And prove case, we are who here say, May defend me, Hupo. Court not to make a case and pack one case and say, Be a massa, be an coffee. And I said, Court not to make us a baby, baby, a seminar do no, what come and a buetiao, as a way you are no, you be boo for. In two bones, I'll back out to the be who defense. Where were her evidence act no more? In fact, where's over here, CI 47, CI 87, no crampo, I'm running to say, Sem po, Sem po, Mpo, Ukase. Obe defend do huwa. Enye by force is a wo be kwa ko jina witness box no ma ko defend do. Wo to me catch your court ni say eh my lord. En se mo ma kan nyina se bu se we ni o mo evidence na. Ene e so mo na fa no sa na fa bu asem no. Me ni asem bi aka se we ene o mo evidence ni nyina de a. Into wo ko under order 36 sir. O se se we ni o ma sem nyina no we fa me nka ho hwe. Fa bu asem no. Na wa be hu se we ya de cop wa ye nyinam. And so our application uh, first responding lawyer and second responding lawyer, Oma Semini says, say, we, any or more evidence, we, any or more witnesses, and we, any or some or more, why, man, for 40 C, Chrome, we be more pride, be more, we, or more, catch a win, you know, be, we, I, you know, for shit, I, nigga, we, any or some, no, ni, 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 any, and we, he, and say, easy, say, obey, you know, no, crampo, because easy, here, or more, make it as in beer before the court. I, um, Second respondent for lawyer for so here. I'm going to make you a before the court. In the end, I am a court now, so I have to say, where the end is, you better hire a crime. Because you're caught in four months, and you're going to be more than four months. Now, no, no, I'm going to be a judge. 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 I'm going to be a it looks like he's been denied that opportunity. No, that opportunity has not arisen. And yes, he's been denied. You are correct, no? And you are right. Sir, I said, Kofi Adma, when he was a man or court, in the infant bed, not that came on my mind to turn on. I said, I can't say anybody now. Me, Ochan, or Pastor Governor, or he be be a bank of Ghana. I'm in Panaka. Mr. Mabe, a man. Me, I'm not bedjinem. No, Mr. Mabe, I'm not turn on. Minister of Information, he be be no be in Pan. No, I shall be a man. No, I'm not bedjinem. Say, I'm not turn on. I'm not Uba ube prove case the entire was say ebia yebu assembly tia no ono a otie case na no hwe no se mm akwa evidence odi agu court anim sama nko jina ma yima no a yebebu atia me a ono no be sorry akwa bi anhye no na aba no ambe ka hwe na be uba uba bi say say unto okay wo de ba court sia betresa bet u figure sa wo de ba court wo se we nya correct wo de correct one are as my lord man femma Ah, what we are calling you, you are then on your my lord, and no, no, my friend, but I'm finding me in my mind. Be sana, same. 
court in the yes, I was set precedent to be in two months. A lawyer for the advance the argument. Now, I mean, differentiate between when 2013, 2013, yeah, yeah, by and yet the uh, pink seats from about 11,000 polling stations nearby bear four million votes. You said, and I know, or say, make any year. No, in fact, I'm saying there are one million voters. So, and I know you actually must say, vote when you know who's striking out. I believe you're not an win because vote when you're illegal votes. Yet the evidence by petition and Nancas are four boxes. Mama Duba, me and Nancas are no petition. Twenty twenty thirty nine or three petitioners. Nana Danko Kuvado, Doctor Baumia, Jacob Bichi Belamter, when you're a baby call. Doctor Baumia, a cotton boxing him. No, ye any case. On a bear, you and I were not there. Trip to remove. We are no. Obia and say, easy. What is a court in the chair easy? A fire jana no cast as a man caught in a box, see more. Convoy baby, I'm just a medal. No, a year boy, yeah, me. To buy and on no special treaty, more caught in the tea, and I say, me and you know, say, um, judges need be so no, me, yeah, I dream, be said there be omni and yadri, and a crown who's a pie. Way petitioner, no, or buy and on fapping sheet, ma, on far regional coalition, ma, who two assembly tea, and all the abyssin, and I was in the nine or the acusinity, and then Rojo, caught in my crime, I am going to. The source of the witness statement. And can your lawyer for person prove say, ne yari no say, or yari in tune to me, man, you won't send me bisa, a woman. As I don't go that I do be a bamba, caught a man, quam my uncle, and say, until we are when you know you enough, you will say by force, young for Peter McMahon who made them, young for um, um, about penny demands and beginning, ma, and Ramon who crimes on Subet Teresa own cans in beer, until I say, or Botana court be determined, you are going. They say that. Oh, Debbie, I don't know. Debbie, Sanka, I was Sanka by an uncle petition and approving the case. Who would tell you, Kofi? What's not caught to tea and seven? I told us, I'm a petition and approving the case. I told us, I told us, I'm a petition and let me approve it will be in your fifty percent. Fred, I'm a catcher of supporters. Comforty C. Crum, a B. Pryor, a B. Woo, yeah. Then the road to the Supreme Court and him, the other Bible sharing, sir. What do you have to say? For about three hours, not to be in the office. Do you have to say that? Do you have to say that? And you have to say that? NDC supporters have questions that they have to be in the office. And I said, do you have to say that? I said, do you have to say that? Baby, you have to say that you have 141 seats. And you have to say that you have 140. Now, you have to say that you have 138. You have to say that you have to say that. And you have to say that you have to say that. One can say more than two. More, more. Yeah, the calculator shows us if you bought pra 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 pra, we are say forty-seven fifty-one. For thirty man count, pra 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 forty-seven fifty-one. You thirty man forty-seven fifty-one. Until the house will be only fifty percent. No coffee away. I know because you are from Bedas, but tea no. I want for biscuit now. Come biscuit now. Until me, can I me feel saying? Can I say more? But can I say the bisa semono? Um, sebe etu tu ne ni onyamase na um enye no kure. Say, Oja, Jumano Hobe, three hours, not in my main office in Umti. No, no, Juma didn't call Hon and no call here. I know you are the man, say, T, dear man, and a biscuit, dear young man. I feel crying, I'm afraid. But Nina, I shall judge his name, sir, or Monon be determined as I'm in the end. That's a V. I know what your phone chroma. Okay, okay, okay. Let's come back. This is Angel 102.9. Okay. Thank you very much and good afternoon. This is okay. Angel Today, 102.9. Two things happened. Today, two things happened in court. First was the court Angel examination of Rojo Metonunu. So let me talk about that first. Mr. Rojo Metonunu was cross examined by both counsel, and certain things stood out. One, the issue of duplicate or double sheets or multiple sheets for particular regions. So, for example, Eastern Region had two sheets with different numbers on it and yet the same valid votes. And in court, we saw that apparently there was a third one lurking somewhere with a different timeline. We also saw that, for example, if you read his witness statement, Greater Accra was also an issue. Greater Accra, the numbers on the sheet did not add up. And interestingly, if you read the witness statement, 
you see that what was published or the summary that was published on the website or by the EC was different from what was actually given to the agents in the collation room. The other thing that came up was the fact that this was the National Collation Center where the returning officer, Jean Mensa, was supposed to be in control. We heard from the cross examination that for a period of three hours, the agent of the petitioner was trying to get his problems or the issues that he had seen across to her without any success. We also saw the fact that they state that if you have signed the sheets, even if there are glaring problems on the sheets, nobody is going to do anything about it. This should give us all cause for concern. But even more importantly, is the fact that Rojo Metunun reiterated under cross-examination that it was the EC chair who asked him to convey message, information, whatever you describe it, to the petitioner. And if you read the witness statement, you realize that it was about a potential stakeholder meeting to discuss the concerns they had raised. And of course, as soon as they left, the EC and his chair, Jean Mensa, made arrangements to declare the results. Now, all these are issues of concern. Now, you ask us, you probably would ask, how does this relate to the, re the reliefs? If you have several collation seats for one reason, which one was used for the declaration? I don't know. If you have sheets with different words in number, numbers in words and numbers in figures, which are different, which one was used for the declaration or for adding collating or for adding up the numbers? The only person who can tell us this is the EC chair who's the returning officer. And that leads me to the second issue that rose today. They claim that they are not going to, or they stated, it's not even a claim, they stated clearly that they are not going to call any witnesses, even though they have submitted witness statements. Now, I don't know whether it's evading, running away, whatever, but they are avoiding or running away or evading the cross-examination of Mr. Angel, Chikata. We should remember that this is the EC, which has a constitutional duty to the people. They have an obligation to account to us for our stewardship. And they say they are not going to take the witness stand. Well, tomorrow we'll see how our lordships will rule on this. And um, the issue was raised whether it's a human rights issue. <laughs> I don't know. This is the EC chair, a body created by the Constitution, which has an obligation to account to us. They are obliged, they have a duty to respond to our questions. They cannot, EC cannot hide under human rights to say they are not going to respond to us. So I respectfully disagree with her ladyship when she said it is a human rights issue. It is not a human rights issue. They are obliged to respond to us. This is Angel 102.9. I can hear you. Yeah. Angel 102.9. This is 
Ghana's own Angel 102.9. Won't I say that? I couldn't hear the rest. Yes, I think we still do. Because there is the issue of the declaration, which is why we are in court, where we stated clearly that even on the face of their own documents, nobody got 50 plus of the votes, of the valid votes. And in addition to that, as at now, the EC itself has come up with different figures. They're ever-changing figures. Which one is the valid vote which is supposed to be used for the declaration? They haven't answered that question. Angel 102.9. have been cross examined. You've told us that you were satisfied with what has transpired. I should it not be in your interest that you've closed your case and the respondents you are seeking reliefs against are saying that, look, we don't intend to lead any evidence to show the contrary that people had more than 50% of the votes cast. I mean, should that not be good news for you, actually? And that is why we are going to oppose the application tomorrow. Be closely linked to that or following up on that is a question of the relevance of that particular cross-examination to your case. Um, the lead counsel for the Electoral Commission had made in his submission that indeed they are satisfied with what you have brought to court and they think that the court can go ahead and make a determination without the benefits of the testimony and cross-examination of the returning officer. How crucial is this uh, cross-examination to your case? First of all, if to the court, we did not have a case. Those of the parties have submitted witness statements. But my major concern is with the EC. That is accountable to all of us. The EC cannot say. My major concern is with the EC. That is accountable to all of us. The EC cannot say that it will not respond to questions raised by a petitioner, by a candidate. One question that uh, ran through the cross-examination uh, is, uh, with all the three witnesses you presented, is do you have figures that shows that the second respondent did not get the figures, I mean, the percentage that he had. That was a, a, a one of the questions that ran through. I want to find out. You realize that, I mean, no figures have been provided by the witnesses and then the petitioner. Do you think with this, the court will grant your reliefs? Because the question that went through was, do you have figures that show that the second respondent did not get the percentage that he had. First of all, I've been turned out Please go back to by the EC. I keep answering this question. I've already answered it. That by the declaration, by the different figures that have been turned out by the EC after the declaration, it is obvious and it is clear that no candidate got 50% or more of the, of the votes. As to whether... Um, what was the question? I mean, with regard to our figures, that's irrelevant to the case. We've come with the EC's declaration itself. Yeah. It's irrelevant to the case. We've come with the EC's declaration itself. I have a question. Um, how compulsory must Jin Mensah cross-examination be for your case to succeed? In other words, is the success or otherwise of your case hinged solely on her cross-examination? And if that fails based on what the bench will rule tomorrow, 
would you then determine that you have a lost case because you are unable to cross-examine them? Of what you are saying. If the bench rules tomorrow that she should not be cross-examined, would that throw your case out of the window automatically? Well, first of all, we'll take it from there. We are going to argue whether or not the EC and the second respondent should take the witness box. Our view is that they have an answer there. They have submitted witness statements and they ought to be cross-examined on those matters stated there. Because that is what they are using to challenge our case. Yeah, but so we my, need... So my question is, yes. your argument has been put forth in the courtroom. Now the determination will be made by the bench tomorrow. Is the success or otherwise of your case hinged solely on this cross-examination? That's the question. You note that when you go to court, your case is not just based on your pleadings and your evidence. There is also an answer, and in this case, there's also a witness statement. And we think that it is important for us as petitioners to be able to cross-examine the EC in particular on the matters that she said. Medamunasse, <laughs> Evidence a uh, eh, support wo anza no fabe to court ne ni ma wo se ndi me mpe me ko na se wo mpe na wo ko dia ndi dia dia ba court no e eh, se court no enye eh, den enfa eh, mayen na court no nka se o oh, order for run off it's as simple as that we enye eh, dia ye ni electoral commission ye ba ba twen twen ho asem ye ni dia asem ba court se two candidates no o bia 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 ni ho only 50 percent. Would the answer the back court say? And you no cre. Yes, if be here no. A day in tia sama jomaha makano. And you no cre. I also need the main person main car. So we need be bia edi hinta. Day in tina we journey. Sebe sebe. I can catch them. Yes, if we we journey echo and infiere kania. And in church we are day. I just say you tutu we no more day. Asem. I'm not do see a bit to two and some are also there be where there miss row that be where there yes re adabraka your mommy embra witness boss no a juma old you know gonna be a 30 million Ghanaians on no one at me this age my dear no on no one a returning officer on no one a constitution at this age my dear no the other day at the ascending sir me and me can say meet me in this age my dear no John Draman Mahama and Yadio Betting Ed this age, my dear, Nipa Bacope. Sadano, one away a declaration. One a wujina ho, simple so, say in a okasaye. Betray a conta away a ya who arrive at that calculation. O say, my dear, Mema, where they are Sreno. Yanko Akonodi, Yanko no gopo, Yabayan will court the Muha, yes, Reno. Say, and I am also more ya. Sad, I know a chum on your umra. Nanyamea do my china, Yabeba, near the illegal argument, Eddie Abete, Eddie Abetuja. Sebi, 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 only she a hinta. The car we knew, Master May. A farijan, the first time, now wouldn't you dare one? Amra, another damn quacufado, Eddie Petition, Eddie Baha, wouldn't you dare not walk? The old king, Nana said, presiding officer and signing. Pulling agent assigned by young bo about to know any day and go near and declare on no man penny. A farijan one maha. Yen to tune a numasem. One who fill a paddies and I know the pink sheet at the channel. Naya mammy dear, then cra, then cra, no huntia, sebe. Then cra, no this year gana for. On one at Yanaho. 
Sebio, on one at Yano home. Now, oh, yeah, on court parliament, Uncle Jessica. And you're gonna have your foot on your de mano. It is Sebi, a crime bell soon watch now, now, or say on a dear. I mean, look, a jabby yabba, a juma or you know. Yen, I see a who said, Jay, I have my so a war name re. A court to them when you're away. Yan share China, dear Bessie. As for the Rojo Metununu, a bay and a dear, Sabi Sabi, Yen, I a day, yes, she a year. Omu ya, so mema, mema, why a day, while contradicting on Nina a day, and ye ye. Baby, I would jina no, one way a day, would jina. In fact, a baba mukra say, Emra mu loya ka se Endi si ni bia me hu no na omo an eva mu si ye no ene ye hu se oko okro mo maneti wan wudi anyanku eno no osuro se oba witness boss no mu a sanyo ma nyina ba be de dia na se be ye nyina ye hu se eye gana ene ye som enye obi bia me da ma se is Angel 102.9. This is Ghana's own Angel 102.9. This is Angel 102.9. This is Angel 102.9. This is is Ghana's own Angel. So please let me know if you are ready and then we can proceed. You're good? Um, good afternoon to you all. And uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, today hasn't been as long as I think the last time we were in court. Today, two major things happened in the wells of the Supreme Court. First is the formal announcement by counsel for the petitioner that, my lords, we have closed our case. And you notice that the court, by court, admitted that they have formally closed their case. I'll speak about what that means and what it means for the next step. Prior to that, you saw the petitioner put in the box uh, his third witness, who I believe many people were hoping will help adduce evidence that will advance the petitioner's cause. It is not for uh, nothing that any time we come before you, we go over the issues that the court is seeking to determine. Because sometimes you may hear they are in court, you are, they are in court, but the issues may get missing. So please permit me, uh, when I repeat the issues, what the court is seeking to answer. The court on the 20th of January 2021, after listening to the petition and the answers and reading the memoranda of issues, set down the following issues for the determination of the petition. All of the conversation you hear going back and forth is about these issues. And the petitioner is being required to bring witnesses to adduce evidence to settle these issues. Issue number two, because the first is an issue of law that the court will determine. Issue number two, you're expecting that when witnesses mount the box, they will provide evidence to the effect that based on the data contained in the declaration by the first respondent of the second respondent as president-elect, nobody got 50%. You are expecting that when a witness mounts the box, the witness will provide evidence to the effect that the second respondent if you include or exclude Techiman South, did not cross the constitutionally mandated threshold of 50% plus one. You would expect that when a witness mounts the box, that witness is adducing evidence essentially that will prove that the declaration of the first respondent on the 9th of December was in violation of Article 63.3. Or at least you expect that what the petitioner has listed as errors in the petition this witness will provide evidence that shows that these errors and these alleged vote padding affect the outcome of the presidential election 2020. So far, we have seen the petitioner put three witnesses in the box, and we are of the view that the court will do a good job in determining 
whether or not these witnesses have provided any evidence that supports the petition and these issues that the court is seeking to determine. Now, it is upon the completion of this, and note that the petitioner advertised five witnesses and ended up calling three. It is upon the completion of that that the petitioner has now announced to the court that this is all that the case is about. And you heard Mr. Chikata say, my lords, our case is closed. And uh, uh, his lordship, the chief justice, say, by court, the petitioner's case is closed. If we were in a criminal trial, what will happen now is that the court will have to determine whether or not a substantive case has been made, in which case the defendant or the, the, the defense may now raise an argument that maybe no case has even been made. So I don't even need to bother uh, uh, raising a defense in the first place. In a civil process, there are similar remedies. What you noticed happened, which is the second matter I'll speak about, is counsel for the first petitioner announced to the court that the evidence, counsel for the first respondent, I beg your pardon, announced to the court that the evidence that the petitioner has provided is enough. And the cross-examination that has taken place is enough. And that the first respondent does not intend to call witnesses to adduce evidence, any further evidence before the court. And counsel uh, on the side of the second respondent has advertised same. Because by now, whatever evidence that the petitioner has put before the court, once the case is closed, it is believed that they have brought all their evidence and they have made such a strong case. And so it should actually be to the disadvantage of the respondents if they say that they don't even intend to call witnesses to adduce evidence. But you notice that the petitioners are not too happy about it. They want literally to compel the respondents to bring in witnesses um, to, I don't know, adduce some evidence that may help the petitioner uh, in his cause. The court has adjourned, as you heard, to uh, tomorrow morning and will listen to the legal arguments on both sides. We are very, very happy, very happy, extremely happy that the petitioner has come to the end of his case and has adduced all the evidence that he has. Evidence which is supposed to prove that nobody got 50%, that whether or not you add Tichiman South, uh, the winner will change. That Article 63.3 has been breached. This is all the evidence that they have, which they have made available. And we'll hear what the court says tomorrow as it proceeds to deal with the matter. Yes, sir. And we'll hear what the court says tomorrow as it proceeds to deal with the matter. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, you have said umpteen times that you intend bringing at least Mr. McMillan to testify. I know you're not responsible for the first petitioner's witness. They have said categorically that they will not present her to testify. But why has the narrative changed? At least we know that Mr. McMillan was going to be in the witness box. Thank you very much. I want you to go back and play the tapes of our press briefings here. The narrative has not changed. We have always insisted that the onus of proof lies on the petitioner. Sections 14, 17 of the Evidence Act are very clear. He who alleges must prove. You have told your supporters across the country that you won and that they should get on the streets. People died. People got injured. People got involved in infractions with the police and got arrested because you told them you won. When you came to court, you abandoned that and said, nobody won. And the court has invited you to prove. We have always maintained that we are waiting for their witnesses who will adduce evidence to prove that at least their second argument that nobody won is true. And we have always maintained that Chairman McMahon, who is ready on standby, that when they prove this and it becomes necessary for us to go into the box and prove that what they are saying is not true because they would have made a preliminary case, who do so. You have seen their three witnesses. The court has seen them. The whole country has been watching. We've all been waiting with bated breath to see the evidence that nobody won, to see the evidence that when you add or you don't add to Chiman South, the results will change Sust substantially to mean who crossed the 50% threshold, to see the evidence that Article 63.3 and on our side, we are not convinced that any such evidence has been put in. That is why we have announced to the court that we don't intend to call any fresh 
witnesses or any witnesses because on our side the view and the belief is that that case has not been made so the narrative has not changed the whole country has been waiting all the ndc supporters i'm sure have been glued to their tv waiting to see their officials prove that nobody got 50 percent or that at least the first argument holds true now they have announced to the court that they have finished their case and i'm sure many people are surprised now the second part of your question about uh, uh, why uh, Chairman McMahon will not be taking the um, witness box. A party advertises to the court how many witnesses it chooses to call or its intention that it may call X or Y or Z. And as you heard the bench in exchanges with the lawyers, there are questions about when that election takes place, which I think questions will be addressed yesterday. But isn't it interesting that Mr. Mahama himself, the petitioner, did not mount the witness box and we are not arguing about why he's not in the witness box. Why has he not taken the stand? Why has he not taken the witness box? Can anybody force him to take the witness box? The petitioner himself, even to court, he has been here twice, and other representatives come on his behalf. Can anybody force Mr. Mahama to take the witness box? Can anybody force the other two witnesses of the NDC that by force they should get into the box? So if you're asking about uh, uh, Chairman McManus uh, uh, or, or the announcement that we will not be putting anybody in the box, as I've mentioned, it is because our lawyers are of the view that that, that basic threshold has not been met. They have not adduced any... I don't know if you have seen evidence that shows that nobody won the election. Or that 63... This is what they told the country. This is what they told the court subsequently when they came. And our lawyers are of the view that that hasn't happened. That is why nobody will be bothering to take the stand. And uh, tomorrow they will advance legal arguments to that effect. But if your question is about why he isn't taking the stand, maybe we should ask why Mr. Mahama is not taking um, the witness box as well. And why they are not bringing the other two. Yes, sir. Counsel, if it happens that tomorrow we don't know, uh, the justices agree on the other side that the witness, the EC, uh, Chairperson should stand in the box. Are you going to call Mr. McMenu eventually? The calling of Mr. McMenu is very different from the um, the, the the EC's posture. Mr. McMenu is representative or is a witness for the second respondent. We have the view that the petitioner has not crossed that threshold, and that's why we have announced to the court that we will not be calling Mr. McMenu to bother to even give any evidence because no substantial case has been made. That is the opinion of our lawyers. Now, should the EC change its mind, or should the bench decide that the EC should go in and answer? It has nothing to do with um, uh, our side. We have made a case, the court will make a determination on whether or not uh, we, we should be forced to put a witness in the box when we are of the view, and the evidence, I think, as has been seen by many, is in question about whether or not they have made a case, as they had advertised earlier. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Um, I believe that this is... Uh in the interest of all Ghanaians and irrespective of the fact that this is between the petitioner and the electoral commission and Nana Kufado, uh, Ghanaians are also expecting an answer from, from us. And so I'm asking that why don't the second and first respondent allow EC to step into the box so that he will clarify some um, notions uh, made in some heads of some people. Yeah, I think that's a very good question. Last time you raised a similar question, I made the point that this is a court of law, not the court of public opinion. This is, with the greatest of respect, this is not the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament, that the EC must give us some answers. This is not budget hearing of Parliament, that the EC must come and justify its budget. You have come to court with a specific petition and the onus of proof is on you to show to the court that this is the basic case and therefore somebody has a question to answer. Where you have not met that threshold, you cannot resort to what I keep telling you are propaganda answers. That when you lose the legal battle, then you resort to propaganda questions and answers. That, you know, it's in the interest of all Ghanaians and so why there is, you know. And let me also make a distinction. In the 2013 election petition, the Electoral Commission mounted the witness box. Why? Because the petitioner came to court with results of about 11,000 polling stations. Pink sheets to back saying. 
and to make an argument that when you deal with the lack of signatures, the multiple um, um, serial numbers, etc., which are all infractions, and you strike them out, you have to call a proper declaration of the result that Nana Rodan Kwekufuado is the winner of this election. He came with evidence and made a case. You have been here, and you have heard the bench labor, asking the petitioner over and over again, where are the numbers? Where are the numbers? Where are the numbers? And time and time again, they make the point that it's not even relevant to their petition, and that they are not here looking for um, uh, new numbers or anything, or a new declaration, but they are here to question the conduct of the EC chair. The two cases are very different. One came to court with pink sheets and evidence, and the petitioner in 2013 mounted the witness box. Dr. Alhaji Mahmoud Baumia, who was one of the petitioners, mounted the witness box to advance his case, made the case, and therefore the EC had to get in the box to respond. You have been here. Have you seen their pink sheets? Have you seen their uh, regional sample? Have you heard them answer the questions when the bench puts the question that, what are the numbers? So the two cases are different. And it's not, uh, you know, that is in the public interest or is in the public interest. This is a court of law not a court of public opinion. Yes, sir. It is true that uh, the petitioner has not been able to give out any figure that showed that the respondent did not win the election. But the argument they are making is the consistent change of figures by this first respondent is the reason why they are in court. And yeah. you think they have no case? The court has said that as the last issue. The last issue to determine whether or not these so-called errors materially change the result of the election. It's one of the issues that the court is going to determine. And that is why at every material moment you hear, for example, um, the Venerable Akutuan Pao, and today you heard him ask that same question of Ruju, that I want to suggest to you that this is your uh, uh, 1,700 or so that you are talking about is not material enough to affect the outcome of the result. You heard that question, and you heard his answer. He was being evasive, but you heard his answer. The point is that the so-called errors, or the phrase that they like to put out, the propaganda phrase they put out, the ever-changing results, the ever-changing results, like how they put it. Even if you admit that those are substantial errors, the question is, does it change who won the election? If somebody beats you by 500,000 votes, and you come and you say, I saw 1,700, which I describe as vote padding. The court wants to determine whether or not it is substantial enough to change the result. And that is why, at every point in time, we keep asking them to provide the court with those numbers that will show substantially that it can change. And you hear them ever, over and over again decline so to do. I think that for the millions of NDC supporters who are watching across the country, they will also be asking questions. Because now there's a clear difference between what the petitioner and his colleagues told them on the night of the election and what they are saying in court. And some of the admissions they are making in court. For example, you heard Mr. Roji Melsununu admit that for almost three hours, he had left the strong room and was at the reception of the commissioner and admitted that he was having tea but then, you know, uh, 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 um, argued that there were no biscuits involved. These things may sound as funny, but the supporters of the NDC down there across the country will be asking themselves that. So while they were out there, having been misled that they had won the election, this is what their seniors were doing at the premises of the Electoral Commission. This is what they told the public. And now when you come here, you have to make some admissions. So. The jury would, I mean, the bench will make a determination at the end of the day. Colleagues, are there any other questions? Let me yield the podium to my colleagues to translate it. Abu Jamfo, ye beda mo ase, ene e ye da e toso e ye du mi enu, a ye de aba e ye Supreme Court hai. Na ene ye nga ye nim, na nu fiada, ena NDC, a tone, sir, an answer petitioner, or Penny Mahama, a tone, sir, a defray, not dancing near or tossing me and son, and in your chat to all. Nay, a totona, no, nay, a totona, no, yen, 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 who, and semi be a peer, 
na ne huhia ye pa no eye nsem a court no odie si na niso o se obepa hu mu aye ne huhia nyina ne se na na do dan kwa kufu ado his excellency onya eye ohanum nchichemu adunum ene ye kire ana enu ya de si court ne niso pe pa ye eti nsem a wo beka bia no o se unya so mu aye na unya ni nyina so ene omo fre rojo metonunu ye nyina ye tin sem ni bio kan ye ene ye busa no o se onu na djuma obedi ye na bi wo honu mu a ayemfom so o de ni sa shekra ta se wo ko busa na o se ayemfom so na o ye ye e bi wo hon so a o se o o ye ye sansa na on pese a obeye akwanside e e de ama electoral commission we nyina no aye nsem a otimi se na ensisi so afa kwa de o se ensi e pamon no e fri dem ho no eno ye ene ade ba kwa beto dwe ene ye hu se eno so no ensisi so e bie ma de ba kwa o sa kan ye kran pa eh o admit ye electoral commission e ma accreditation obi a enan obi a enan o eti se bibi kran posi na empanifo emie nu se mu ko ba bi a eye mie nu na ka akire no awosen ko muti mijinam we ye hu ne sa obusa no so a onya ano ye mfa ma o ni obusa ne se don hwere eye miansa a wo ko di wo ye oba pani jen mensa office a na ote ho no mo ni pa ye de wakɔ se kona ko di juma die kasie sei se wo hwɛ ono ne krata o diabre court na wo hwɛ epɔ a etɔ so miansa ni a ochre nya ne se ye ne ko ho se onkɔ no nkɔ hwɛ ma e ba no na ne ne ji ho a no de ne sa hya se e wo no akrata mu eni pa ye de wakɔ akɔ tena isia ka che se kɔ na kɔ di juma kasie sei e fama wo party wo kɔ ya wo gya juma die na si ho ana wo ti isi oba pa office don hwere miensa ana wo nu ti na ye se bu sa wo se mum na biscuit in ka hu wei aye nsamo a opani rojo metonunu ekɔ ka yo na nu be ka ya opani ba ko ba dr kwesa white oso nu so agya ni charge wo fie ntine fun bedum ye wo hwe enema omo kani nyina na na ye se enya djuma pa bi eno mo ba ya omo ba ebedi e wo honum inti na ye hu ne nsem no ano toto no se nia esi ko ye na ebra ye wie ni nyina no ye toto na no nyina wie ye isi e wie ne de opani akotampa wie ne de e na isi e de tu jase se wo hwe emranim na wo hwe eye oda 36 SCI 47 no 36 rule 4 now king kan ho ba na se ni o metie eye opani asie do nketia o metie na no asem na o metie eye dr kwesa white no asem na o masan tie eye opani robert um joseph metununu o metie na no asem ne no da bi ehu hia kra se o masem no ko be di adanse bia biem san san sem ni nyina ni nyina so no o mentimi amfa nyina so bia no ama ena opani chatu se da bi se ni eti bia no o se e fre no na ye de ne ba eho ena court e dia ba bedru na wuti ensem no bia ye nua no mendi si fo ka o musi dia ben na oba pa isi o dwane afri se o be gina adaka mu abusuafo o musu abusam ho se e dia be pa na former president mahama wuzi e wi awo na wusi wadi nkunim afa ebe wi e court de wusi da bi obi anim kunim ye san kwoto ba ne fofro abusuafo ye wusi emu sa former president mahama se wa wodi wa asema ba court wo bo kwa du na wa mfa nyina so obi ama no ade na wodi wa am betra box no mi antoto wa no abusua aha ye de mra ene ye adwuma e nwanwa wo be kaya 2013 ene so mo de ka ho asem se 2013 aye dr farijan etna da kam e no kra dr farijan tna da kam san se enyina so aye de ba ye no na emu pi ye ba ansan kra ne ba ne de 6000 pink sheets na ba ye di asem ne koso no ne ye sa de another 12000 e pubusia ani epim edu mie nu ko na chimu enti abusuafo ye ye di nyina so de ba enti na eho be nya se dr farijan obetena da kam na ye do so do so no enei mu busa mo ho se a judge from penifo e kura busa ndc for se na mu nyina so won hia my lord i have not brought that figure to court ma mfa sa nkuntebo na ma court e man do do sai na mu mu candidate nya ya i have not brought that figure to court ya mfa sa ma no a ma court dem ha sei na e kamia kwese enyina so bia ni nsemomo e kanim 
it way any baby a ne ye be drew ye na nyame ya do ma o kena court e be sai atena se na en samu aye ka no e biem ye nso e ye opania ko tampa o wadi kan da na di se enya ade a ono nso no in witness ko be frere no san se e ye omo mo di asem be to court no omo nse dan fa asem kese bia no em ba be to dwa enti mesrem e biem omo kra de omo sa de so omo kra tamu kra se omo be frere dance fu enum Ebe we are chino, and nay omo close your case. Just omo semu angasa omo de buy omo kwe du omo de buy ano omo semu ni ano omo tu manu tuwe we omo we omo we ya dance for me and sample omo frere mo. Obi ash omo kete ni omo kofre tu na kanemra mi nu na kete chino omo kofamra na debi obi anse omo. Eti adi ane di unti bi nsho obi se wa o case ni ano usi chinchira o pese obi nsho ede na ase mo bejina da kemu na odo so do so no eti abusu anfo sa na ne yekowie ye na mesre mo se na de bia mo me ho adaje na mo me hu behia ye mpanifo mo ha se no wa frio ha eti na na bi na ebobo mpanifo a Omo omo kujia wano mewo ya court hano ti yesi ano no na yabeta na sani ya chesa ya babeta na mnyeri ani di babeta ne duani edepa endesi mpesa mpesa nsa cheke no ne duani frihi aso sosa aso sosa ne denso I was telling you that Chiana. Ah, check it out. Oh, 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 oh. You are not there. You are not there. You are not heavy, pal. I bet I get you. No, no, Maria, say. Ah, zero two zero. Uh huh. Nine one zero. Uh huh. Four seven. Uh huh. Four eight. Zero two zero. Uh huh. Nine one zero. Uh huh. Four 